Hello friends and welcome back to another planning video. This is a plan with me for my wellness planner for a week commencing the 14th of February. So the main book that I want to use for this spread is the Park Lane. This is Under the Stars and I've talked before about how I don't really like a lot of the stuff in this planner but I'm really interested in using some of the blues and perhaps some of the pinks and trying to get this to come together and maybe learn to love this book. As it is my wellness planner I've got my sheet that I've printed out here that I tend to use for this just to change the subjects up for things that I want, track my hydration etc. I've looked at some washi and I've got one of the purple that kind of fits with some of the colors so I might introduce some of that and maybe some of the foil ones that are kind of star related. So now I'm thinking I'm going to do this as a star theme. And that's because I want to introduce these. For some reason they're speaking to me today so these are going to be on the spread somewhere. Just go with it, right? And I feel like that's a good match. So I don't use these as they are, I change them to different headers that make more sense for me and my life. So I'm going to do that again here. Just laying down a double line of washi. And I might use this somewhere else in the layout too. And usually I would put these as they are, but I think for today I'm going to cut them down. So I've got these little circle things. I'm going to put one of those on. I might even just put half on. I feel like I don't want it to come into this side. Just to add a little visual interest. I do need this for boxes. Of course, I've changed my mind. All right, so I'm going to carry on doing the rest of these. A box for up here because I want to cover that bit up. So I have six focus words that I keep track of down here and I need space for my keto and carbs things that I put in here on the sidebar so I'm going to make space for those and I typically just like to use something with them to add a little bit of visual interest. Do for this week is put this here. Yeah. Might put some ink there though. Down at the bottom. Trying to get things straight is a problem. Always. Good enough. I just feel like that kind of feeds into there a little better. Something down here. I've got some solid blocks somewhere. I saw them earlier. So 
So purples. Thinking of this one. I feel like I want to have it offset a little bit. All right, so I need words in here, and I might look for some boxes of some shape and fashion. So I had those circle things earlier. But if I use these, I'm not going to be able to get them all up there. So that's not going to work, is it? Right. What other things that I could do? And I need six plus the keto. Let's put the keto one in here. I need to make these smaller next time. See, I might want to use these and just repurpose them for here if I can fit that in there. So the longest word that I have that needs to fit in is thankful for. So if I can fit, although I don't like the colour of that, I'll make a different one. So maybe I draw in the little pinky colour from here. with a little bit of a trim on the end, this will fit. Ooh, over trim that slightly, but good enough. So I need to space six of those down here. So I only need a little bit of space to write in there. So ignore what's on these right now because that will change. I'm going to trim these on the sheet so that it's a little easier. So the other thing that I need to add on is hydration down here. So do I want to add another strip along here to separate that of the washi? some things to use as our markers for the um, meal stuff. I know there's a, a dots page somewhere in here. See, I know I've put that in like that, but I don't like it. I'm going to put it right in the middle. Or does it need to be black? Is that the problem? It needs to be black, I think. Or a darker colour. Or the pinky colour. Maybe that's the issue. So there's this one, I think I'm going to use that. 
I'm going to use that down here. Yeah. Let's make that actually straight, shall we? There we go. All right, I'm happier with that. That one's not straight. Goodness me, could I get these stickers any more wonky? All right. I'm liking that better now. I just needed something different, and I might put something on here, but let's not get sidetracked. So I've got these dots. I'm going to use these as my markers for lunch, dinner, snack, and maybe something as an indicator for water here. I'm going to change up the colors. I've got, I'm going to take this sheet out. I've got the black. I might introduce the pink. And maybe I'll introduce some of the blue. So I've just added on like a little kind of starburst thing in the middle of there just to add some clear distinction between each one. And I'm going to do that with each little bit here. Just so that I can really see that there's a difference between each day. Again, next time I do these, I'll do them smaller. that bit that brings in the blue a little bit because of the blue in the background here you see that there's some blue it has the gold so I can add that in all right I'm not liking the washi that much but we're gonna go with it we've already started so we will continue
that is my wellness planner for the week of the 14th. That is so sticker heavy. It's way more stickers than I normally use on a layout, but I am going to be fine with it. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some inspiration to just use all of the stickers in your book. Why not? And if you enjoyed this, then give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.